Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more Watch with Mighty, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean, episode 32, Heavy Forecast 3. Last we left off, we got what I assume is most of the backstory. I doubt they're going to have any more. Maybe they will. Uh, most of, if not all, the backstory of Poochie and Weather Report. Um, a few corrections to make. I... Uh, you guys were laughing at this in the comments, and I, I totally agree. It's pretty funny. I did not realize that the girl and Weather Report were biological siblings. There was a Luke Leia situation going on there. Um, so when they kissed, and I was like, oh. <laughs> um, I got it confused in my head what babies were swapping and stuff. So uh, apologies on that one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so other than that... Um, big snafu on my part i i understood the episode really well i thought it was really great um and i really think it was needed in this part give us a anchor solid just foundation for poochie and uh weather report really really good and now presumably they're gonna fight so yeah i mean I, if i had to guess who's gonna win i would probably say poochie just because like if he got beat here then like there's still another like six or seven episodes to go and it's like who's gonna carry out the plan you know i guess they could both like it could be like a draw i don't know we'll, we'll see how it goes um hit and record on the patreon version link in the description if you want it uh let's begin in three two one go sorry for the delay uh stuff came up that i had to deal with the last few days as well as stupid copyright stuff on youtube a lot of my my hero videos got taken down uh, so if you'll notice, it's a little bit not quite as clear. Do you believe in gravity? Um, I had to make edits just to be safe, but it's still, you know, pretty good for you guys. Perla, that's her name. Yeah, and like he can't kill himself. Like no matter what happens, the weather acts on its own and saves him. Kind of crazy. Yeah, and then they had their fight. <clears throat> Stole his memory disc. Kind of interesting he let him live. Coming back to bite him in the ass a little bit here. Da, 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 da. I only just now kind of... I, I don't know why I put that together if I commented on it right at the beginning of that intro. It's uh, literally Jotaro beating Dio. I don't think I just ever paid attention to that, but yeah, it's cool. Yeah, but um, in the meantime, I'm still continuing my rewatch of Golden Wind. Um, definitely liking it better in some aspects on second rewatch. I think I was maybe a little too critical on it. Um, I'm only like a third of the way into it again, but yeah, I mean, like Golden Wind really has like. The thing I always liked about Golden Wind is it had uh, really good Joe Bros, great animation, and like some amazing stand. Some of the I think it has the best overall stand fights and encounters in in the series. Like in terms of quality, uh, not saying it has the best ones, like singular ones. Although there are some that come to mind, like the train one. Oh my god, the train one was so good uh, with the fisherman, you know. But uh, overall, like total strength of stand fights and encounters and creativity i really think golden wind actually might be the best one now that i'm doing my rewatch okay look at all the snails even the butterflies are snail they're like fusion like butter butter snails or snail flies it's trying to eat me What a sequence we're in right now. I love Weather Report, and I'm actually kind of rooting for him in this fight. Because obviously, like, I like him more than... I, I like Poochie, too, but he's the villain. I mean, you know.
Ew. Eyes all coming out. Jolene Bennett. <laughs> I think like, that's what he's thinking of. He wants him to kill him. Wow. By all means, yeah, let him, like, fight Poochie. This is a great late game twist for this part. It really gave it some life that I think it really needed. Not saying the rush is bad. I, again, I just think this is a really fascinating addition. Hell yeah, foo foo. Okay, so they're working together. Cool. I like this. Diver Dan. Still one of the coolest like looking stands, I think. Diver Dan. Dude, that's crazy. You can just like search a whole house with the air. Yeah, that's that's insane. Be a bad place to hide. Pinsa maneuver. Even though I get that code. Again, I, he better not be hiding in there. That'd be an awful place to hide. Like, I guess if you're trying to. Holy shit! What the? Okay. Wow. Is he hiding in the snails? How did he? I no longer fear touching him. What? Oh, okay. Tell us, tell us how it doesn't turn you into snail man. The reflection of the rainbow. Okay. Fuck. Conjure some lightning and strike this bitch. Wow, just taunting him. Surely the weather has some way to save him from stopping bleeding, right? Like, maybe make the leg so dry around where the bleeding happens that it just like cauterizes it? I don't know. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. Holy shit. Wow. That, what a fun. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, F you. I was about to flip off the camera, but I don't want, I don't want to flip you guys off. I'm going to say, fuck you, Poochie. <laughs> I love how he's giving in another leg with Diver Dan. How a fun. What the hell? 
Oh no! Ah! Oh! Wow! Okay. The imagery is so stupid, but it's like, that's Dojo, man. Just rainbows and snails. <laughs> what a strange explanation. <laughs> what, what did you just explain? Yeah, he's just like, what the fuck? Well, it's visual, obviously, but... The hell, he's got mini discs? The GameCube discs. He got rid of his sight? Wow. Oh my god. Oh my. We must all get to heaven. Oh. Whoa. Oh, ow. Who's doing the blood bending here? Oh, it's one of the abilities you can't control. Ho 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 ho. Wow, that's so cool. Technically, you could have a stand, like, wipe them out. But... <laughs> Trip and lay life will end. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. What a cool, like... These are the best stand battles where it's like really clever uses of one stand and it's like unconventional. Okay, Speedwagon. He's he's taking on the Speedwagon role right now, just being the narrator, the hype man, you know. Damn, Anastasia's just getting on. Uh, it's it's Anastasia, it's Anastasia, right? That's how you say it. Be my eyes. He can do this. He can just Jedi mind trick someone? Oh, he's having him play back the like memory. Okay. I see, but I don't see. 
but I see what you see. Huh, interesting. <clears throat> He's not going to get away like this. Something, something's going to stop him again. Just tells him wrong information. Oh. Oh. Ah. Damn. Just suck the air out of his body like Avatar style. Ah, we're in the same hole. Do you see that? <laughs> the spike went in the same hole that was already there. Yeah, about to say, I'm surprised you don't break the shard that's by your neck with your stand. I, he's definitely the speed wagon of this fight. You think that'll stop him? Hell no, it won't stop him. He'll do this. Oh, oh my god. I need one of those and throw it in there. Whoa, what the hell? He made rope out of it? It says freezing, but it looks like rope. <laughs> oh, oh shit. You know, it's getting crazy when it's black and white with just the color of the eyes. Oh, now we're going to get montage. Yeah, something's about to happen. You don't get montages without some hype shit. Yeah. Oh. Yo, a stand disappeared. Damn. Oh, you're going to play that card now? I showed you mercy. Okay, at least they explained that. Why I didn't kill him back then. Prime numbers. Yeah. <laughs> He does it to like reset, like calm himself down and focus, right? Like it's almost like a hype up thing. Oh, so I feel like Weather's about to die right now. <laughs> Again, he's just like, <laughs> stop. It's like Speedwagon got reincarnated. <laughs> this is such a thing he would do in like part one and two and stuff. <laughs> oh, 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 whoa. Oh, is it Jolene? Has to be, right? Yeah. <laughs> How did he just lose his uh, snail chin? Uh, for that before that previous shot, he didn't have his snail chin anymore. <clears throat> well, you know, just a normal JoJo stand battle. Nothing big. I still can't believe Annecy was like, and his face is frozen with fear. Like, that just is... <laughs> It's so funny. It's like, you didn't need to say that, but you did. I noticed a little, like, Netflix animation errors like that. Sometimes they'll just forget to, like, a detail or whatever. But it's not a big deal. The wind is nigh. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Okay, it looks like weather is either dead or dying. And Poochie's standing. 
Pochi. Still gonna be soggy, right? Or no? Oh. Whoa, what? What? Okay. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh shit. Wow. Who the hell is this then? A visage of the past? Another ability, okay. At least that guy's dead. I didn't really care about that guy. <laughs> Wow, RIP weather report. Do you believe in the force of gravity? What a strange secondary ability. Oh, no credits or no uh, post, no song or whatever. Wow. You can't. It, it's the typical like, one person's like, get a doctor, someone help, and everyone else in the room is like. Too late. Call it. Like, the rainbows are gone. Ah. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, what's he got? Can can anyone use it? Like, I'm not. I can't. I kind of forgot. So in theory, could could she use weather for weather report? breeze hmm or you get one of those classic yeah into the into the sky you see their vestige kind of thing i guess that kind of was his vestige um 
Okay. Um, really good episode. Okay. I, I need to say something, and this is gonna sound. This is gonna sound like I'm. I'm bagging on this part. It's not. I just. I. I. I think that honesty is important. Uh, this death was very sad, and you know, like it was really well done. Like I have no complaints about how it was done, but the way they're portraying it, it's like they really are like it's almost like they're expecting the audience to like cry and also feel bad is it is it wrong is it bad that i don't feel quite that deep to where i'm like i want to cry about it like i'm, I'm sad he, he's gone like he was he was a really cool character and i thought his backstory was excellent everything about it was handled well and i'm sad he's gone but like it doesn't tug at the heartstrings that much because like again uh this part really the only issue i have is that it didn't really have much in like she's saying oh man i i, I, I want to hear i want to feel your warm breeze again i'm so sad but it's like you like you guys barely interacted really i mean you had like a couple fights together and stuff but like you know what i mean like i, I again this is gonna sound like i'm bagging on this part it's not it's just like how it is um and i'm sad he's gone i thought this was a great episode but i kind of really think that they thought that they would get me like like they show shots of like Ermi's crying and everyone feeling sad and stuff and it's just like that's not how i'm feeling in this moment does that make sense you know again this three-parter was excellent this is probably the best this might yeah this is probably the best of this whole entire part so far i thought it was really well done uh, the the rivalry, the stand battles are really cool. The character development was awesome. Uh, Poochie's backstory was great. A little bit of Dio in there. All excellent. I, I thought it was really good. Um, but yeah, that's just sort of my two cents on it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and leave your thoughts down below. And uh, how many episodes do we have left? Uh, we're on, oh, so we have 33 through 38. So we have about six episodes left. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, it's been Money Gazelle. Thank you all have a muddy day. See you guys.